Hello, hello and welcome to the 1v1 tournament, uh, the final chapter. This is the semi-finals, Elpern vs. Kurtz. Let's get everything set up. Elpern in the blue, he is the number one player in Company of Heroes 2. He's a, he's a great person and uh, a titan when it comes to RTS. The man knows how to play. He has top of the food chain, micromanagement, great map awareness, great skill on the battlefield. And you're going to see that, I'm sure. On the other side, we have Kurtz. He is in the red. He's an unknown player. Um, I met him. I spoke with him briefly uh, on Discord before the game started. Very respectful guy. Um, he had a, uh, a great uh, Series 1 game where... Uh, a great Series 1 game where he, he took the loss. And then in the second game, he came back, he won. And he ended up sweeping uh, the series 2-1 to one, uh, after... After ha after getting into a battle where he took a really uh, tough loss to start off with, so I, I really like that about him, and uh, it was something that I noticed. Um, here we go. Looks like uh, we're getting close to uh, the first shots being fired in this game one of the series of the semifinals, and um, right away both guys are are out there looking to take some some resource. Um, first shots have been fired. Elpern vs. Kurtz, Conscripts vs. Ostrupen, and um, back and forth they go. The Ostrupen are taking some losses, of course. The Conscripts are in green cover, and they have that perfect distance where they're really able to maximize the type of damage they can do. Here come a second squad of Ostrupen on the left. They're going to charge right in. Point blank range, shot for shot, conscripts first Ostrup and conscripts were in green cover the whole way while the Ostrupin were moving in and the Ostrupin are taking some losses. He's going to have to get one of those squads out of there. He gets both of them out of there. Engineers come in for some support and we have ourselves a match. Seem to be many battles all across the battlefield. Will he get that MG42 up? No, he doesn't. He's in big trouble. He hits the retreat button. Will Kurtz be able to get that out of there? We'll see. Wow. Kurtz is able to get away. We are three minutes into the game and we just saw some heavy combat. Right away, we're seeing Elpern uh, go for some map control. And he seems to be doing that. Kurtz is coming out of his base, and he's looking to retake land lost. Elpern is getting 26 fuel per minute and 42 munitions. Um, Kurtz has a, has a real deficit, a real issue on his hands. He needs more resources. He needs more resource production, I should say. Conscripts for... Well, let's see if the conscripts will retreat. No, they don't. Wow! Looks like Kurtz is going to have to retreat. Gotta love those partisans. There's that top of the food chain micromanagement uh, being shown by Elpern. He's all over the map and he's just capping everything. Capping everything in sight. He has really great map awareness. Um, he's been able to thwart uh, Kurtz at, at, on every level. As I'm casting this game, I'm, I'm watching it for the first time, and I'm really enjoying this. He's got a, a mini blob of Ostrupin. And he is coming in. 
securing our territory. Let's see if we can get a foothold. Um, Alpern is taking uh, that standard resource point on the right side, and Kurtz is, com you know, he's completely lost the map. There's a lone MG42 he's looking to set up. Let's see if he can get it up there. Oh, there comes another engineer squad looking to flank. Let's see what's going on on the left side here. Nice little push here. Elpern uh, pulls back. Windows conscript squad and looks like Kurtz is trying to solidify this push. And wow, he's got a set of partisans in green cover and they maul those pioneers. And there's another, there's an MG42. He's able to throw the grenade. The partisans throw it. It's a squad wipe. Brutal. Wow. Brutal. And at this point, uh, Curtis is, he's really in some real trouble. Uh, wow. Yikes. Here come those partisans just pushing him back. And it looks like Kurt set up a bit of an ambush. I should have gotten the, that first pair of us swooping into cover. I'm not sure what he's doing here. That's not going to work. There goes the grenade. And the partisans take the yellow cover and, you know, like I said, it's not going to work. You can't do that. And he's looking at a full squad wipe of those Ostrupen. No, it looks like he's going to get away. Yep, he does it. Kurtz is, is, is in some big, big trouble right now. He's lost the map. He's down on resources. And this is what you call uh, in. This is an RTS KO right here. Um, he's in some big trouble. It's seven minutes into the game, and uh, he's just completely in his base, and he can't seem to get anything going. Fortunately, good effort though. Um, he still has, you know, his army intact. But um, Elpern is just making things very very hard for him he's not able to take any ground and or or hold any ground um he's got something going on on the right side so uh we'll see how that develops you know to see if he's able to hold uh those two standard points um it looks like elpern is pulling out of the area and kurtz just grabbed the standard point let's see if he moves up to grab that one in the middle he needs that to connect uh, the munitions and whatever else he's gonna grab on the left. Elprin's gonna cut him off right here. Holy cow. Oh, MG42 is annihilated. Artisans. Whoa. They are tearing up those Ostrupin, and those Ostrupin are making a run for it. Wow. Elpern is really, really dominating this, this game. There's such a huge disparity between the good players in, in Co2 and the experts. Um, it's a huge gap. We're seeing that here. I, you know, I definitely respect Kurt's effort. Um, I don't think Kurt's knew who Elfern was. Um, I, you know, I don't think he followed uh, the he follows the official uh, ladder that relic has for Co2. So wow. Well placed grenade and the partisans are on the march. Wow, squad wipe. Deadly. Deadly. I don't think I've ever seen anyone use the partisans the way Elpern has. And it's it's just crazy. He has this great map awareness. If you look on the right, 
He's got those man. He's got those standard uh, points all over again. Took them away from Kurtz. He's solidifying the entire map, and it's ten minutes into the game, and Kurtz is running out of options. Um, I think the, the once you see um, a light vehicle or a medium vehicle hit the field, it's gonna be game over. And I think, um, you know, I, I don't know how. Um, Kurtz is going going to be able to to counter. He doesn't have anything that can stop a light vehicle at this point. Um, oh, and you know what? As predicted, here we go. Ten ten and a half minutes into it, and it looks like uh, Kurtz. I'm sorry, uh, Elpern is getting his first first uh, T34. So, whew. and it looks like those partisans are in some trouble here. I think he's going to be able to get them out, but I'm not. Oh uh, yeah, he'll he'll be able to get him out, and let's see what Elpern can do against this mini blob, this mini blob of death. You know, I think the biggest lesson in all of this, um, when watching Elpern play, is how he positions his units in cover at all times, and he moves from cover to cover every time. The single biggest thing that, that Kurtz is doing is he never fights in cover. And here comes that T-34. And it's coming at Kurtz very aggressively. And like I said, uh, my prediction was right. And 1-0. Uh, uh, Elpern is the winner. What a great job by both players. Great game. Let's check out uh, the statistics, and I'll get the second game going. A great try by Kurtz. Um, Elpern is he's just dominating. He's just a top level player in in RTS right now and um Kurtz gave it a go let's see what he does in the second game uh, very curious let's check take a look at the overview which uh tells its own story uh Kurtz was very active with his 22 captures um, good showing um units killed is 49 uh damage dealt is almost double of what Kurtz did and I think it's that unit placement that was um, the game changer and, and Elpern's uh, top of the food chain micromanagement. Okay, guys, let's take a look at uh, game two. I'll be right back. Alrighty, so this is game two of the semifinals, the 1v1 uh, tournament, the final chapter. Uh, I've done many tournaments uh, for the 1v1 community, 
in uh, Co2. And uh, I'm going to be moving on to Company of Heroes 3. I'm going to be doing tournaments for that. And um, I'm moving on from this wonderful game uh, to play uh, another wonderful game uh, within the uh, Company of Heroes franchise. I've been doing this for such a long, long time. And um, I love this hobby. And um, I'm moving on to what's next. But I wanted to do one final, one final tournament uh, for, for this wonderful community that's given me so much. And uh, here we go, uh, right away. Uh, Kurtz and Elpern are looking to take that map and uh, get as much resources as they can early on. And uh, very curious to see uh, how this one plays out. Um, I know that Kurtz is the type of player that learns from his mistakes. Let's see if he can step up and give Elpern a run for his money. Um, I, I think in, in my time playing RTS, when I played at a, at a, at a top level in the, you know, in the early 2000s, I, I, I think, um, I think back and I say to myself, I learned more from my losses than I learned from my wins. I know that sounds crazy. And, um, it's games like this where people are forged and, um, I think we'll see, I, I think we'll see. Um, we'll see some good, uh, back and forth fighting. Elpern is very, very quick to, um, take the map and spread out and just grab resources, grab the right resources in the right order, which is so incredibly important when you're playing Company of Heroes 2. And looks like we have the first shots fired on, uh, the left side. Storm piles are nasty. Versus rear echelon. Let's see who's going to win that one. Oh boy. Elkhorn has his squad in the building. He can get... He's getting shot at, but... I don't think he notices it. Oh, man. Kurtz is not... Not aware of what's going on. That's... You have to have that map awareness... To play at that top level. And, uh, you know, just in order for Kurtz uh, to, 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 to dethrone Elpern and get him out of here and, and, and have himself advance, he's got he's to gotta be on point. He's got to know what's going on. And um, he's definitely having a better go, you know. Uh, three minutes into the last game, he was already, you know, things were looking pretty hopeless. Um... Things are looking better uh, already, though. Um, Elpern has penetrated all the way uh, to the standard point near his uh, near Kurtz's base. Um, I've never seen uh, Elpern play with the Americans, so it's this is really great. There's a lot going on all over the field. Looks like Elpern right away is trying to retake everything back. It's always that positioning with Elpern. It's always cover to cover. He's never out of cover when he's fighting. I, I don't think I ever see him doing that. And all of a sudden, Elpern is everywhere. He's recapping. He's probably looking to get that map advantage back. And he's doing that very, very quickly. Wow. And all of a sudden, uh, the, the map is turning red very, very quickly. They both uh, already have chosen their commanders. Um, Elpern went with Recon Support Company. Okay, so we're talking Raid Tactics, um, IR Pathfinders, Airdrop Combat Group, M8 Greyhound. Yikes. M83 Cluster Mines. Let's see. Yikes, he's 
got that M8 out. So quickly. I'm gonna leave the camera on this M8. Let's see how Elpern uses it. There are battles all over the field. But, um... If you're l looking to learn Americans, this is it. This is it. He drives. He, he drove them all the way to his base, and he's, it, it's just complete harassment with this Greyhound. Utility car, taking the field. Actually, it's not a Greyhound. It's a utility car, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Great usage. Great usage. Shut him down. Switch that back. He just completely place. shut, shut Kurtz down, and all of a sudden, at six minutes fifteen seconds, the entire map is almost completely red. And I, I okay, here we go again, fighting in cover, and then not fighting in cover. Now Elpern has two M20s. Chucks a grenade. He's not fighting in cover. I don't understand it. I, I think he's going to learn that. And if he goes back and he studies the replays, he's going to see that... Um, th that's one of the biggest mistakes he's making, is just not fighting in cover. He's not giving himself a chance to win the exchanges. By just standing in the middle, he just doesn't have a chance. <laughs> Elpern has complete map control. You know, once again, in RTS, there are KOs. This is one of them. Wow. This M20 spam is wonderful. Oh my gosh, it's wonderful. And, and he's powerless to do anything. He finally gets... Oh, well, looks like they're not in, in cover anymore. Wow. And it, it's crazy to see how dominating um, Elpern really is because Kurtz is actually a decent player. But, you know, like I said before, there's a huge disparity between people that are considered to be good in this game and people that are experts, people that really understand how this game is, is, is played. And we're seeing that all of a sudden, okay, Kurtz is starting to use cover. And starting to adapt. Okay, let's see. Where is he going? Why is he going out of cover? Get back! Oh no, now he's in negative cover. Oh boy, he's... okay. Oh my gosh. The Sturm piles are being slaughtered. That was... that was brutal. Infantry is just raiding. Oh my gosh, riflemen are chucking nades. Oh my gosh, oh! oh! Alpern is brutalizing him. It's like watching Mike Tyson. It's like a Tyson fight. It's like a Tyson fight from the 80s. It's just brutal. Brutal knockout. Oh my gosh. Yikes. You know, the question in my head after seeing this replay, um, you know, I'm watching it for the first time uh, alongside with you guys, and uh, I'll tell you what, I just don't see anyone stopping Elper, and it's really hard to see anyone stopping this guy. His 
it's micromanagement is, is really something else. Now, let's watch here. Let's watch. Here we go. Cover to cover. Cover to cover. Religiously. Religiously. You see, look at him. Okay. This is the only unit that's not in cover, and it's for obvious reasons. Look how useful uh, the M20 is. It's literally shooting at, at, at the plane or whatever was it was in the air. Um, holy cow. This is the art of the KO in RTS. Holy cow. Alpern was a savage. A savage with this M20 utility card. I don't think I've ever seen anyone really do that in that fashion. Woo! Great job by Kurtz. Uh, he showed up. He showed up on time. Uh, he was able to win in the opening rounds. And um, he gave a good effort. And uh, for that, Kurtz, I salute you. Elpern moves on to the finals. And uh, I'll see you guys real soon. I'll see you in the finals.